Hey, it's Adam with the 6R Academy. I want to talk to you about the shot timer, uh, often referred to as the pack timer, packs a brand. Uh, these are great training tools. I uh, realize a lot of you don't have fancy ranges with you know, moving targets and a whole lot of real estate to work on. Maybe you maybe have a, a local gun club and you, know, you can't work from a holster or there's kind of rules where you can't really get dynamic with your training. Uh, the shot timer will bring you that dynamic training aspect. What I like about the shot timer is I can set par times or I can just leave it open so it tells me how fast I shoot. What I like setting par times for is I'll set myself a time limit. Say I'm working on trying to get out of the holster as fast as I can and getting a shot on target. So I can set myself a par time. So basically the shot time will beep to start me and it will give me another beep after a time I set. So let's say I give myself three seconds. All right, so I give myself a three second time limit. So I can set it on delay so I can be all ready to go, hit a button, it'll give a countdown. I'll get a beep, an audible beep. I can go ahead and do my thing and then it'll give me another beep telling me when my time limit's up. And the shot time will say, okay, Adam, you know, you got your shots. It won't talk to you like that. You'll have to read it. It'll tell you that you got your shots under your time or over your time. And it'll tell you how much you're over or under the time. So it's a great training tool. It kind of brings instant stress to your local range. So without having folks watching you in a competition or, or bad guys shooting back at you or anything like that, the shot timer keeps you on edge because you've got something to work with. And as you progress and get better, you just kind of of, you know cut off that time a little bit take a half second off at a time and you can uh, you can get pretty speedy with a shot timer that's a great tool and you can also use it as a good assessment to see where you're at so don't set a part time just say something like get we'll go back to that getting the gun out of the holster and getting a shot on target you may think you're doing it fast or maybe you think you're doing it slow put yourself on the shot timer and see what happens you may be getting that shot off in a second and a half or something like that and you don't even know it so from there you can kind of break things down figure out what you need to tune up and and improve your time on target along with your accuracy. So shot timer is a great tool. A little drill I'm going to do with you this afternoon, uh, real simple. I've got six seconds on a part time, which is a very conservative time for the drill I'm going to do. So basically I've got a countdown of six seconds. So the way this works is when I hit the go button, it gives me a three second countdown. Then I get a beep. It'll count off six seconds, basically. At the end of that six, uh, at the end of that six seconds, you'll hear another beep, which is that right there. So that's a six-second part time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try at 40 yards on a piece of steel. I'm going to go ahead and try to knock out a shot with a reload and another shot. And it's emergency reload. So I'm going to get my pistol set so it's around in the chamber empty magazine, so I'm going to have to shoot, reload, shoot again, and I'm going to do that from the holster and try to get it under that part time of six seconds. So I'll just do this cold, see what happens. It's a good little drill you can practice, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So here goes. So here goes. I'm about to hit my pack timer. There's going to be a three second countdown. Then go ahead and do the drill. One shot, reload, one shot, and I need to hit the steel or else the drill's useless. Here it goes. So there it is right there. Pretty straightforward. I was able to do that in four point eight two seconds it looks like. So I had a little bit of time to spare. My split was 2.75. That's another nice thing about the shot timer. It gives you a split. So basically 2.75 means that was the time in between my first shot, my second shot. So with my duty gear on, took me about two and a half seconds or two and three quarter seconds to knock out that reload. So that's a good little thing I can work on practicing now. I'd like to cut down that, that reload time a lot. Maybe cut it by a half a second or even a second or so. So that's something I can work on now. I can break down my reload and work on that drill. So pack timer, it's a great tool. And now I can really be hard on myself because face it, a lot of times we go to the range and you're kind of practicing at your own pace. You're doing what's comfortable for you on the range. The pack timer, it's your, it's your evil friend there. It kind of keeps you on edge, keeps you shooting it within a standard. So it sets the standard that you have to meet. So now I'm going to get back on the shot timer. I'm going to bump that down to five seconds, you know, maybe five and a half. We'll see what happens. And I can just kind of bring it down from there. I could do this on the move. I could do this with multiple shots, different targets. So you can really change it up. So shot timer, it's a great tool if you're looking for a challenging thing to do on the range. So 
For those of you looking for a place to shoot and uh, use this drill, uh, use the pack timer or the shot timer for this drill, you can visit the NSSF site, wheretoshoot.org, or come out here to the Sig Sire Academy. You're not going to need this. We'll run you through plenty of drills out here. So in the meantime, be safe with the firearms, and remember, firearms responsibility is your job.